Z double C crew, it's your boy Zaddy Chung Chung, and I am back again with another banger for you guys. Today. I'm gonna bang this to some up. Bang! And today I have Nicole, of course. And today we're doing B Dubs. Yes, Z C C family. Today we're doing B Dubs. Today I have the uh, all flats. Uh, salt and vinegar fried hard wings. Mm, I have lemon pepper boneless wings, also garlic parmesan, and I added a few of Dalvin's um, fried hard uh, things as well. And then I have some buffalo mac and cheese. I got some blazing sauce on the side and some ranch on the side too as well, just in case I want to get some flavor in me. But uh, let's get a prayer, a thumbnail, and dive in. Father God, I want to thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body. And I ask that you do please bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's get a thumbnail. Oh, yeah, that is a good idea. Ooh, I got the wings in here, too. All right. Mm. Let's dive in. That's a two times spicy, too, if you want it. Yeah, and I brought. Um, you, your mom made three of these for me to bring back to Texas, so very excited. We're back home! Yes! And it feels so good. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, the warm weather. Everybody is out strolling around on their walks, and it just... Mm, the sun just makes you so much happier. I've been wearing shorts and t-shirts. It's been hot outside. Mm -hmm. We've been riding around with our windows down. Sun roof open. It's been amazing. No coat needed. I can wear, if I wanted to, I could wear a short sleeve, but I'm just still used to wearing long sleeves. And uh, not Texas, in Ohio, it was gloomy every day. Mm -hmm. And if the sun was out, it was out, but there were still clouds. So it'll be a bright gloomy day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Because um, we have like a, um, a later flight. So the next morning I woke oh. up and I just threw on a pair of shoes. I walked outside and I was like, oh. When? The next morning the, oh, yeah. when we got home. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I'm back. Mm -hmm. And it just felt so good. How did it feel opening up the windows? Oh, I was like, oh. I'm used to this. I need this again in my life. When me and Nicole got here, the house had a new house smell. Mm -hmm. It smelled like new construction. It probably always has that because you know once you live in a spot, you, the smell's not there no more. Mm -hmm. What? It smelled like a brand new house. Mm hmm. Mm. But so excited to be back home. It feels really good. Slept in the bed for the first night. Oh my gosh. How's it, how is it like sitting in your bed? I was out like a light. Mm -hmm. I woke up once because I feel like, okay, so I think we talked about this before. You know, when you're growing up and still a teenager, you're okay, you can sleep at people's house, you can mm -hmm. knock out wherever you want. When I was at your parents' house, I woke up like, at least three or four times throughout the night. Mm -hmm. It's not that I was un I wasn't uncomfortable. I don't know. It's just like not you the know, same bed. Yeah, just a different setting or whatever. And, oh my gosh! When we got home, I unpacked my things a little bit and I took a shower. I laid down and my eyes were just closed and yeah. I, it felt so good. I had a nice night's nice, nice rest. <laughs> so don't take this as. Oh, we just did not love my parents' house. We definitely had a great time at mm -hmm. my parents' house. It's just that you miss being home. And we're gone. It wasn't like we we're gone for a week. We we're gone for a month and a half mm -hmm. in a while. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's perfect. So you definitely start to miss your bed and mm -hmm. all that stuff. But we did have a lot of fun in Ohio. I had a blast. Was it like bittersweet leaving? Mm. Like, were you thinking that at all in your head? I was wondering, I'm gonna call this Nicole's thoughts. Like, yeah. when am I gonna see you guys? I don't know. I gave everybody a hug. And I was like, until next time, you know, because 
you know, some people don't like saying goodbye. Mm -hmm. um, it's more of like, see you later, see you next time type of thing. And I don't know when that next time is gonna be. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> mm. Yeah, um, well, I know I'm gonna be here. 4th of July. Mm -hmm. Nah, did you well though? If the next time I see him is the 4th of July, that's a long time away. Yeah. We're only in January. That is a while. <laughs> no, I'm crazy. I never thought me and my family would all be in separate places. Paris, Ohio, Darius, Arizona, I'm in Texas. Mm -hmm. I told Darius, come and visit me. When you have time, come see my own uh, apartment. Nicole, we actually got a lot of work to do. Jerry, Nicole's about to get really busy with apartment hunting. Very, very busy. <clears throat> Lots of apartment videos. I have to check out the area I want to be in, what kind of apartment I want, all of that kind of fun stuff, and once I get that tackled, I want to um, start furnishing it. And that's the super exciting part. I mean, I can't wait to do the apartment shopping, but. So, you can say even too when I talk, but Nicole, I know your plan is to, are you, you're looking to stay around me, correct? Cause mm -hmm. you know, Nicole, you're still new to Houston, you know? Mm -hmm. I at least lived here for one year early. I'm still new to Houston now. But when it, knows, when it comes to people we know the most, like we are the closest. I know you more than anybody in Texas, and you know anybody in Texas. So, mm -hmm. you're looking to stay around? Stay around. <clears throat> Close, within, but not like right under each other type of thing. Within like 10 minutes or so. Yeah. Um. You know, for security reasons as well like if something does or would happen i hope not but you know phone call away mm -hmm. and you can get to me um you know if anything happened or whatever but yeah but not good so starting your new journey i wonder I, I wonder if people think we're still playing now i hope not you guys because <laughs> this is this is a real thing and it's happening no she it's not like we're never gonna see us together again. Mm -mm. Nicole's gonna live like 10, 15 minutes away from me. So you will see each other from time to time. It won't be every day, every other day videos. But as you guys know, I'm looking to go crazy and doing I'm revamping the whole channel. Oh, yeah. uh, I know you guys are uh, all foodies. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna try to still keep food in it. It's just not gonna be dedicated mukbangs, you know? But um, I'm gonna start vlogging crazy. And this is about to go full force in the end of February, beginning of March. That's exciting. I'm really sorry for that. <clears throat> but uh, I was wondering, I was like, because my mom named her video saying farewell to Nicole. Mm. And I was like, I wonder if people, I didn't read the comments at all, but I'm like, I wonder if people are like, wow, this is serious. Not a be love life stamp thing, you know? Mm -hmm. like, yeah, mm -hmm. and she made it official, I guess. Because mm -hmm. you know, I didn't even believe anything we said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's a real thing. And what I wanted to ask is, how do you feel mm -hmm. about this whole situation? You know, I'm happy for you. Mm -hmm. Reason why is because you get to do, be independent. You know, mm -hmm. I'm really excited for that. For you to feel how it feels to be out here, you know? Yeah. I, mean, I believe you're gonna really enjoy it based off your personality. <laughs> you don't really love being independent. And I believe that you could do it. I'll be proud of you. Thank you. And when I when I'm uh when I need a place to stay, <laughs> I'm gonna talk and I'm gonna with you. Of course. <laughs> no, it's not gonna be of course. Mm. Love you have a man. Mm? No, I'm trying to try. 
I wouldn't be in a predicament where I need to play stay. No, but. And Nicole wouldn't either because we're planning on being successful. But oh, the yeah. thing is, we're going to get it by all means necessary. Even if you two shut down tomorrow, I'm still going to be great. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's one thing about me. I've always been a hustle all my life. Definitely. No, I have this opportunity. Well, well, for, from you, of course. Mm -hmm. And you introducing me to, you know, YouTube and all of that. But the more, I don't, okay, this sounds like bougie or whatever. But it's like, you know, my first apartment isn't what everybody else is going to, this sounds so bad. But you know what I'm saying? Like, we're blessed to you, have... You want a nicer first part. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, nothing, nothing wrong with not wanting nice things. You no. Know. But you don't have to spend a pretty penny. Yes. So, I'm looking in the... Well, we're going to give it. No, no, no. I'm possibly looking for a two-bedroom. Oh, no, okay. But, um... One bedroom is totally fine. The reason for a two-bedroom is if, um... No, if I, I mean, uh, for a studio and like a beauty room mm -hmm. so that I don't have to combine it all into just my room or like convert the, the, um, the dining room into a studio. Yeah. I mean, that's cool too, because like, who's really going to come over, mm -hmm. but. Well, what about your family? Mm-hmm. Family from walking. That's another reason why. Um. One two bedroom. If I got a two bedroom, I would like get the couches that pull out into beds, mm -hmm. so that I, I think, can have people stay with me. The other thing is, who uh, with the prices of flights now, you could just surprise your mom and fly her out. I know. Oh, um, did I tell you? The other day, I looked up a round trip. What's it for? From Houston to Nevada. Mm -hmm. Guess how much it was? Fifty bucks. Eighty dollars. Eighty-three. Mm -hmm. Round trip. Round trip. Houston, Nevada, for a week for seven days. What airline? Uh, United. Mm -hmm. I love United, even though probably not the most popular. Wow. But um, yeah. Well, mom, you're coming to Houston. Eighty-three dollars. <laughs> That's a plug. That's a super hug. <clears throat> but I'm okay when the prices become regular because you know what that means. That means the world's become regular. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and I'm okay with that. I want oh, everybody sure. healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, we came home. Our neighbor was like, "Hey, my hey." She's like, guess what, what? I got the vaccine! <laughs> oh, wow, really? She was really proud of it, you know? Mm -hmm. You can tell our neighbors, like, that was like her pride and joy. Like, she was so happy she got the vaccine. You know, so she's had any side effects or anything. She said, no, she just said she, her arm was re really hurting, a lot of pain, but it was only for a day. Yeah. But no other side effects at all. It's probably the same um, feeling, like uh, if you guys know of getting a double shot in your arm, it's like sore just for the rest yeah. of the day. That's probably the same thing, but yeah, she couldn't wait to tell us. She was like, how are you? And then she was like, I got it, I got it. <laughs> yeah, I got the demo. I'm like, wow, really? You know, so. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that this vaccine can bring things back to normal. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. These ones are good. Mm -hmm. How's the mac and cheese? Very good. So, what are you looking for in the first apartment? Uh, what, what do you need to have? So, <clears throat> my first thing is I need a washer and dryer. Like, mm -hmm. that's a must. Mm -hmm. We've been through it the one together, to the going mat. to the laundromat, and it's a lot lugging everything, packing everything up, going there, sitting there. Remember those days? Mm -hmm. Well, we got lucky because my apartment was right mm -hmm. by laundromat. It was very close. But 
Um, I remember back in the day when I went with my my friend growing up, her family had to, because it was such a big family, they had to go to the laundromat. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I think they made it like a Sunday thing. Oh, Sunday's laundry my bad. I know. They probably hate it now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, I was always with them, like I always say. And so we like brought games and just made it like a, a fun thing to do rather than, you know, like dreading it. Oh, yeah. So definitely a washer and dryer lots of natural light mm -hmm. for when i want to vlog or you know do stuff in my apartment that doesn't require a green screen love i love sunlight love mm -hmm. windows this is love hate windows though because you got a house built the windows and they fall everybody looking at you at night well mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. love mm -hmm. windows also um a gym so I can go right down into the clubhouse work out and go straight back upstairs so that's um you know putting a fee off of my or you know what I'm trying to say a thing off of mine so I don't have to pay for the gym basically yeah it's fine cancel and um membership. I would like to have a pool because you know I like to swim <laughs> And you know, Houston is known for pools anyway, so. Mm -hmm. And they kick more ball yeah, around here. Mm hmm. So, pool, sunlight. Um, I would like, okay, so I feel like this is kind of like really trying it, but mm -hmm. <laughs> I would like to have like a brighter color scheme in my kitchen. Well, throughout the whole the whole apartment so you want whites and grays yeah like you know lighter colors um if it can be like marble countertops or just like a lighter color because i just want it to look very modern yeah i feel you me i need whites and grays but i do love earth tones i love the the oaks the brown like the light browns like bamboo browns you know i like bamboo gray with mixed with grays you know some colors mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like a lot of greens you know because of like for well plant greens you know yeah <clears throat> so uh, i actually don't know what i'm gonna do yet for me like I don't know if I want to stay here or move. And I, and and then you know, some people say, God, why'd you guys get this big house if you know? I'm gonna scoot over this way. I think your head's like not all the way in there. Hmm. <laughs> why'd you get this big? It's not no, it's not like, oh, I'm about to I'm not downgrading. If I do move, it's gonna be a house this size or bigger. Mm -hmm. Or if I stay, it's gonna obviously gonna be this house. Um, like I guess I have a lot of plans for this channel. And this house is too big for me. Yes, it is. But there's something that's going to be done about it. So, I'm just hoping this works out well. I'm really so excited for this. Mm -hmm. And I just hope they love it too. Mm -hmm. I am really am genuinely excited to start my new journey. To try something new. Not going to be doing move bonds. You know, I'm trying to 2021. I'm just trying to just turn up. Just live life. Have fun. I really felt like I haven't like... Like I was having a lot of fun in my life, but I feel like I really haven't lived like the true twenties. Mm -hmm. like, you know? Yeah. I feel like there's still I still been mm -hmm. chilling a lot. Like, because I, in Ohio, we the that whole year we really didn't do anything. And that's a whole year in our twenties not doing anything. So I think it's the perfect time to go explore, travel a lot more if we can. Do a lot more fun things to say. You know, when you do get older, yeah, I did this, 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 and that. You mm -hmm. know. I think that's awesome. Yeah. So I'm really excited for this journey, man. Mm -hmm. I really, really am excited. I'm excited for your journey. I was gonna say I'm happy for you, and I hope it all works out. And I know yeah. it will. It will. I've been praying for you. Oh, thank you, Lakota. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. It's gonna work out. <laughs> we're we're both gonna do great. Well, what, what if we just both blow up? That would be awesome. That would be crazy. But I got high hopes, high expectations, and I and I hope you guys are down to see see the vlogs. You know, one thing that was holding me back, you know, one reason I vlog them vlog too is because you know you don't look the best. Like all we do is moot vlogs. Yeah, that's but the hard thing. When we start vlogging and stop doing moot vlogs, I lose a lot of weight too. You know, 
And you're having fun while you're doing it. So you're it's not fun. like a workout the, the thing. Only, the reason why I'm picking this up though is because I'm, like I said, I'm hiring a videographer. Mm -hmm. Now, if this was a by myself thing and I'm, yo, it would be kind of happy. <laughs> I have to stick to the vlogs. Mm -hmm. Vlogging is not sweet, you guys. And for the people who do do it and edit their own videos, you guys are champions. Props to you. You guys are warriors. I just, it's really not sweet. And I have to hire someone. I need, well, videographer to be my editor or hire a videographer and an editor. I know I talk about this all the time. Mm -hmm. But I need to hire someone. I think I'm switching it up as well for my channel. I'm going to stick to mukbangs, but I think I'm going to go the healthier route. Oh, okay. Like maybe keto mukbangs. It's just that you have a lot of ideas for keto mukbangs. No, but I but think I know I, there's a lot of people that watch this that do keto. Mukbangs. Yeah, I'm gonna like gradually get into it, you know. Um, and then possibly, I don't know if this is gonna be like a guaranteed thing or not. Vegetarian? No, I don't think that. But um, you love steaks too much. Yeah. You love food too much. <laughs> I'm thinking about possibly doing another channel just on designs. Oh, I mean, okay. um, uh, um, decor, house decor. Mm -hmm. So, um, who knows? Because, you know, that's my dream career. And what if I started doing this and I got very well and then someone recognized me and wanted yeah. to hire me or something? Yeah, that would be real nice. I know you always want to do decor. Mm -hmm. If you start doing good at it, then I'm going to have you decorate my house. <laughs> Up for $9.99. <laughs> No, I was gonna ask you, um, if you do like <laughs> stay here or whatever, would you decorate the house more? Oh yeah, I definitely am about to start decorating now because we didn't go crazy with decorating. <clears throat> um, like make like yeah. Okay. Oh. I it's homey already, but just like you know, pic like extra pictures and like, just get, little touches. I need to get pictures like going up the stairs. I need to get pictures all over the house. Yeah. I need a dining room table. I got a breakfast nook. I need to decorate my breakfast nook though. Yeah. Because I have a, a table and chairs, but you need to add stuff to the table and chairs, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, I need to decorate my game room. I want to get a pool table that flips over to the tennis table. Yeah. Then, you know? Mm -hmm. I need to set my movie theater room. But I actually have a lot of furnishing to do. Mm hmm. But that's a whole other video. But I have a lot of furnishing to do. But um, yeah, so this house, I need to add more stuff to the living room. I have to do my whole master. So yeah, I got a lot of furnishing to do, and I better start now, because I know how I am. The thing is, if I don't get it done right away, and half of the lease comes up, like by the time like I'm six months in, I'm thinking, I only got six more months left. Forget it. I'm about to move anyway. <clears throat> That's how I am. I was literally about to say, so when are you gonna start ordering <laughs> ordering this stuff? See, for stuff like that, for Dobbin, you have to just keep talking about it and then you'll do it. But I'm gonna do other it things soon. you're really good at, it's just like I don't know. I'm gonna do it soon. The thing is, is like I said, I'm not 100 percent yet, because you know I still got a few more months before my Yeah for my lease. So, uh, and I know my landlord's gonna want me to resign. Yeah. And and I think with majority, like it's not just my landlord, uh, a lot of people, you need to give like at least a two month notice, mm -hmm. you know? So I need to be looking now if I am gonna move. And um, you know, I have my eye on this one house that's uh, that I really like, but I'm not like, like, I'm not in love. I, I'm pressuring for it right mm -hmm. now. But I've been on the market since we were in Ohio. Okay. So, so I've been on the market for like good two weeks now. So it hasn't sold yet. So I don't know. I may go ahead and go look at it. You know, I'm really just procrastinating on it because I want it to be like, I really, to be honest, I want to move. I like, because I, I don't know. I just love moving. I love the houses. <laughs> But the thing is, is I know if I stay here, I'm about to save so much money. Yeah. Like if I just sign another year here, mm -hmm. I'm about to save so much money. Yes. Because the moving cost is just, ah, so much. And then everything I got to do, I got to get all the holes filled up, chandeliers taken down, TVs taken down, put TVs back up. Right. Then all the furniture moved, all the furniture put back up. And, and then I know how I am. When I move, 
I just need new things. Yeah. Like, I, I don't like being in the house with old things. <laughs> I, feel, I might as well stay in my old house with the old things. Mm -hmm. So I want to buy new stuff. And, mm -hmm. Well, I'll let me know when you want to give that couch up because I will take it for off of doing for you. <laughs> I feel like that couch. I'm sure everybody will, right? I'm sure, I feel like that couch would be wet, huge part of the park. Oh, no, no, Savoy fit. Yeah. They fit in Savoy. I'm obsessed with that couch and I know everybody else is. Yeah, I got it from Value City Furniture, you guys. Yeah. I get that question a hundred times a day when I, well, not now, but when I drop the house to her, where'd you get your couch from? Value City Furniture. I po posted it in the comments too before. But I got the couch from Value City Furniture. That's in Ohio. That's, I don't know if it's an Ohio uh -huh. thing, but I just know. No, actually, when I was in Milwaukee the last time, I was at Gertie Mills and they have one there. Oh, same one? Yep. Like 100% same. I didn't matter. see the couch, uh -huh. but it said Value City Furniture. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I've seen it in, in Ohio and uh, Wisconsin. I get that, that question a lot as well. Yeah, Value City Furniture, I know it's located in Ohio. If you're in a different state, I don't know if they ship to other states. They don't. I asked the one in uh, Milwaukee. Oh. I mean, yeah, well, yeah, so well, it's not really walking well, I'll still ask just to confirm it though because mm -hmm. some people they say, Oh, Nicole sabotaged me, they actually do ship. Yeah, still if ask a, if a different mm -hmm. location does, you know. But yeah, Vice City Furniture, but yeah, so if I stay here, I'm gonna save so much more money. Yeah, you are because you know, already know around this time what we're looking at mm -hmm. and stuff of that sort, and just having all the all just come to me and just not. Spend money on all this moving costs, and then it gets draining and stuff of that sort. Yeah. So that's the reason why I've been procrastinating on this house that I found that I really like. I think you should stay for one more year, and you but know, that house looks so nice. It is nice. It is very nice. And it's ducked off too, where it's like yeah, like because like, you know now I'm about to be doing a lot more in my house. So, you know, a lot more of my life is about to be exposed and I like that it's just not easy. Ooh, right, right, left, right, right, and right. I mean, well, that's actually kind of difficult. Left, right, right, You're right. right. <laughs> but it's not like drive straight and he's right here, you yeah, know, it's yeah. not. Like, I feel, I, don't feel, I don't feel like my house is like super easy to find, but it's pretty, like, I feel like it just takes two driving times and you're like, okay, it's just, all you gotta remember is that you live right there. Yeah, you know? yeah. This other house I found is really nice. It's kind of similar to my house currently, mm -hmm. but it's a little bit bigger and stuff of that sort. And a lot of people are going to say, you moved to the same exact house. You know, I know I'm going to get a lot of that. But it's definitely 100% not the same exact house. No, um, yeah, it's, it's I, more I don't, don't want to say too much. Yeah, it's more grand. <laughs> but I like it a lot, though. And um, but um, like I said, I've been procrastinating because I'm just hoping. So usually stuff gets off the market. Like the houses I really like always get off the market like within three, five days of it being on the market. Yeah. Uh, vi coronavirus what? You know what I mean? Yeah. Because these houses be flying. The housing market <laughs> just like stop. And this is forever. I even remember living oh, in yeah. Milwaukee. When I was apartment, uh, trying to find a condo, I wasn't trying to get an apartment. Mm -hmm. All right, I wanted a duplex. And those duplexes just kept flying. Like people, okay. and the thing is too, is I'm in a market where I'm not applying for a unit in an apartment where they have a hundred other units. It's, uh, there's four people applying for this house. The single bachelor who's right. 26 years old, uh, who, he may turn up party, or let's get this four, 30 year old couple who are having a career, who have kids, mm -hmm. and even though I have a career too, they don't look at me as like, yeah. oh, you do this, you're mm -hmm. great. Like, you know what I mean? They don't yeah. look at it as established. <clears throat> so, they want someone basically who's gonna like live the rest of their life in that house. Yeah, yeah. But Nicole, where can they find you at? Because this video is ticking. <laughs> on YouTube and Instagram, it's Nicole, of course, on Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. It's Nicole, of course, with two E's at the end. And make sure you guys go follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All is at the chunk chunk. That is Z A D D Y C H O N K C H O N K. All right, you guys, the video cut out too soon, but Z C C family, as we all know, the grind never stops until the Z C C game is on top. Let's get it! Showtime, the whole place hopping, stage rocking. It's for those who stay watching. For when my tape dropping, long as the bass knocking, I stay popping. I'm trying to run this shit forever, like I'm day watching.